as far as your boat. Yeah, I need a bigger driveway. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, should be a lot of fun. Yeah, we had it out last weekend. We got yeah. two and a half hours on it, so. And what? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Yeah. Did you buy it new? Yeah, it's brand new. Nice. It only took us a year to get it, so. Yeah. COVID, I guess, right? Yeah, we have a work pickup truck that the guys ordered last fall under the state's plan, and we're still, they said spring sometime. Technically, it's still spring, so. Yeah, it seems that's the case with everything anymore. Yeah.
Yeah. Part of the part that goes from like close to where his house starts, you know, in the in the back it's like straight and then it kind of curves. So I went historically and found maps from like 2002, and that's where the driveway was. It was still showing that it was on there. So whoever put the driveway in, kind of instead of going straight, it kind of went like that a little. So I'm like, I gave them contact info with Kimberly. I'm like, maybe they'll work it out and let you have that yeah. little, I think it's four feet is what they're talking about. They can't, are they gonna put another house or something on the corner? There's two houses going in on the corner. There's two houses that are going? supposed to be facing Neely, mm -hmm. and then four, how, or four houses conjoined that facing seven. Street. Those are twin homes. Right? Yeah. So yeah, there's supposed to be two there facing Neely. Doesn't I don't think they've started on those yet. In, in I don't often go that way. Sometimes I go there. Can get those done. There's not going to be much left to build here. I mean, they'll have to start working on the new. Yeah, but they haven't gotten that approved yet either, so it's still a work in progress. Approved by who? It originally had gotten approved by council, their plat, oh, but council. then our engineer said, no, hold on, you guys approved that too soon, we're rescinding it, so we rescinded it, and <laughs> they're still working out some details. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like they're going to build the east end first. Is that There's the, the original plat that they gave us, they were starting on the farthest north by the interstate, mm -hmm. that's two roads and... The northeast corner? Yes. Wow. Because the there was a lot of discussions the about the names of the roads. Yeah. They didn't like that. It, well, there are lots there. Right on the interstate, too. Yeah, yeah those are, and those will be the smallest house, the smallest units. They right. think they'll 50 be... 50 by 120, I think. Yeah, the lot, yeah, the lot sizes are quite a bit smaller. They have it's to get the approval for that. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to appeal to um, people that don't want yard care, one floor living maybe for some senior. You know, but they're all detached? They're yeah, they're all detached. So they're detached with small yards and one story properties, yeah. Yeah. So is it going to have a basement or just on a slab? Or? They're supposed to have a basement, I believe. I haven't seen the house. I haven't seen the house plans yet. I think there's some kind like that name. They're building everywhere. Yeah, they got that on the east side of Altoona. They have got it over by Pleasant mm -hmm. Hill there. They just did something mm -hmm. in Elkhart. Elkhart, they yeah. Put yeah, they put that Elkhart plan is almost built. Yeah. Town on that. Yeah, I think had got an extension. They'll get it. There was no more. No, that will go north. Yeah. Yeah, they had a developer that um, put in a daycare center in conjunction with Kimberly's plat in Elkhart. I just have some attention on the. There's people watching. Oh. And it's past five. Five minutes yeah, past. Yeah, it's not a meeting yet because so. we ain't got two people here. We don't have enough folks. Yeah. I just wanted to verify because I had some people watching. Yeah. And it's five minutes late. Can we, can we talk about something? You can talk about that? everything. You just can't take action on anything. So I couldn't find them. Uh, is that the one that I said Second Street at six? I have Mar where Market Avenue Northwest ends at Second Street. It ends at First Street, and I saw that when I went to put the map up. I and didn't I look have at it. that, so I know I that one was on the uh, that is see right here. There's Market going into First. Yep. And this section right here between these two yellow lines is owned by the city. Okay, so um, we've amazing. got a neighbor that lives in one of these houses that says every year that there's an allergen plant in there, like dogwood or something in there that sets off this kid's asthma or grandson's asthma. So he's always after the guys to go in there and trim it back and so it's all this, this area right here. So I just didn't know if that's something that the city should consider doing because... So it's mostly just shrubs in there then? There's it's it's these, these big trees right here, and then there's some, some brush way back there. But yeah, it goes all the way back to the railroad tracks. So it's between those two fences. It's between John Wood's Place and Diamond Coast. Or yeah, no, that's Denmark Mark. That's Denmark Mark, yeah. Um, yeah, that section, I don't know why, is the city section. And we, we've tangled with it over the years on... John doesn't want it because then he'd have to take care of all the... <laughs> So the other question
question I have is, um, does the city property end at the beginning of this, like the side, the part of the sidewalk that's closest to the street, or does it cover the entire sidewalk? The city's right of way is, it should be, yeah, most of the sidewalk, yes. So the entire sidewalk is on city it's property? It's generally considered the city's right of way. And that's, yeah, that's how we can require that they shovel and that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you want to you want to start at the top or start at the first one on the list at 206 Third Street. Yeah, we don't have a roll call, so you don't have one. We don't need a roll call. No. It's kind of like our last meeting, wasn't it? I don't remember our last meeting, Bruce. It was I did not find minutes for last meeting. It was October. I have notes. Oh, I mean, I don't even have my notes, but I have that the next meeting was set and. Um, the last minutes I could find was, so that's why you didn't have minutes for the prior meeting. Well, I don't think we had any minutes for our last meeting. We didn't have the uh, quorum, we wouldn't have minutes probably. So. Uh, June 17th. I got one for July 23rd. But I don't have minutes for that meeting if that meeting was held. I thought it was later than that. That's the last sentence. That's the last one I have. Okay. see a little bit of deflection it's kind of pumped up a little bit there <coughs> where the roots are so yeah it's pushed up a little bit it's not terrible it's not terrible I've seen worse we got worse out around oh yeah we do <laughs> we definitely do um, you know and they can ask for permission to remove the tree on their own dime um, yeah you almost hate to remove that tree though it's in, it's in really good shape yeah it's, it, a, it is. it's a healthy tree so and I, I would hate to see it removed also yeah since you guys can't act on it anyways, that's something that... Here we can talk to them and see if we can yeah. go around that. Or I don't know how much root system is actually pushing that up. If they take that down a little bit, would that root system still tend to come up, do you think? Hard, it's hard to say. You can directional prune and maybe do a root system. Possibly. You're probably going to impact the structural integrity of the tree. I guess. Yeah, that's where right where the tree is, that little. I mean, yeah, I, I don't see. Would you want Ron to come and talk at the next meeting? Sure. I could suggest that, you know, you could, they could take any, he's the one that's going to want to respond, so that you couldn't take any action tonight because you don't have a form, but you're a little hesitant about move, removing a, a healthy tree. A healthy tree, and if he wants it, wants to explain a little more than what he wrote, then he would need to come and address you. I don't think that the explanation is the issue. I think it's more just we're looking at options, probably, you know, other than removing the tree. If there's an option that okay. 
Okay. You collect the sidewalk around it somehow. So you wanted to come to discuss the I options. Can, I can talk to an arborist friend about roof pruning and see if that's an option. Because um, that's typically not a tree that the roots normally come to the surface there, so. You can see if there's other options. As well. And yeah, it seemed like the worst parts of the sidewalk were not near the tree. No, I don't. I don't think those other areas you identified have anything to do with that. It's just settling in in different areas over the years, and that sidewalk's probably fifty years old. Probably, I'm guessing. So. Okay. Um, this is Mr. Wheeler's. <laughs> the gentleman's in here. <laughs> this is. This is the one that's on the corner of yeah. One Fourteen Second Street Northwest. Obvious hazard tree, in my opinion. Um, One fourteen six feet. The dead ash on the corner. Bruce marking off. Across from the Methodist Church. I don't know. Oops, it's stuck to the back of that one. Yes. All right. Yeah, I went and looked at those. Did you look at them too? Did I did. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's a it's a goner. So yeah. I'd recommend removal on that. And what I'll probably go ahead and do is just get bids and. We can be able to approve them at your next meeting and when we can actually take action. Okay. We've got one more next. And then next the one, one next to it one. is um, he, that's what Scott went and did complain about it. Uh, Marvin, the guy who lives there, did. I don't know if it's Marvin's or Scott. It's kind of in between both houses. Uh, it's, it's on city property, it's on the parking, so. And that, that tree, it's got a few green shoots left in it, but it's it's a done tree too. Okay. So if we've got a crew there and they can take that down, there's, the there's really no wires involved with that, I don't uh -huh. think. I kind of glanced at that too, so that, that shouldn't be an issue, so. Okay. Then I did notice, getting cornered across the street, there wasn't, just when I was out looking at it, uh, 115, Second Street Northwest. There's a dead dead ash there on the parking. Also, it's probably a. Uh, is that across the street from Wheelers? Caddy Corner to the east, northeast. It's like a door or two down on the north side from you. From me. From you. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys know Will? I'm sorry. This is Will. Uh, I, I thought he's the cal your council liaison. Liaison. Okay. I'm sorry. Normally, yeah, I forget yeah, that this was the first meeting that we've all been in attendance to. Yeah, we went to Park and Rec, so that's a little more exciting, I think. So is it the house on the corner, across second from the Methodist Church? Is that the house that one is one fifteen? No, it's yeah. to the east further. So basically, it's across the street from one twelve. Straight on uh, across the street. Okay. There's a dead ash standing there. It's not as big as these, but. Uh, is it Marty Thomas's? Oh, I, I wrote it down 115 Second Street North. Okay, I'll so. take a look at it. Let me make sure the address. Yeah, 115 Second Street Northwest. So it's completely dead. So. Okay. And it's on the parking. You want me to write a uh, sheet up on that to give it to you? No, no. I'll just I'll include it on our list and, and put it out there. Okay. You gotta get three people, you know. Uh, number four is um, this is uh, George Redmond's mm -hmm. um, it's you guys are very familiar with Neely and Six we just talked about it. there's a row of trees right here on the edge of where the lift station is this is city property all the way here mm -hmm. this goes into the cemetery these are the trees George is complaining because a lot of them are leaning on his fence and wanted to know if the city would just remove them so I said I will put it before the tree board and let them decide if they should be removed or if they're live trees and we don't need to worry about it. Because yeah, I was confused because it said hanging over George's feedlot. The feedlot part is well. Here's the fence for his feedlot right here. That's his pad. I call That's, that pad. Yeah, we call oh, that I'm pasture. Sorry. Yeah. 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 yeah so the feedlot. So, so anyway, but if it's yeah, those it's, trees along there, I didn't even look at those. These trees right there along here. Yeah. I guess it would depend on if they're dead or not. I mean, There's not know. a lot of dead in there. There's one, 
What I thought it was is the mulberry in the fence row there. It does have some dead, but it was blown out of the top of it for the ratio. But that doesn't affect anything as far as. Yeah, you don't really have a target there per se. Uh -huh. because, uh, I mean, if you go to the back lot line, it is. There's trees hanging all over. Does yeah, there is. Line. Does he want all those taken out too? No, <laughs> just the ones on the city's property. City property. So. Yeah, legally he can trim all those back. He can trim anything hanging too. on his property, yes. He yeah. can trim it himself, yes, if he wants to. I don't see so we'll just hold on those until we do. Yeah, I don't see any reason to take those out. It's yeah, not a danger okay. to public or anything like that. So. And then the last one with that strip where, yeah. I mean, if these aren't dead, then there's obviously no reason to. There's like cotton on the mulberry, there's Chinese elm in there, so. Did they say what species was causing the algae? No, it, was, it, it wasn't It was last year because we weren't open much. It was the year before. And so I was like, well, you know he's going to come in this, this year maybe because, you know, allergy season's back. And I guess I would like to know what he thinks is causing the algae. So I'll just put a hold on, yeah. I mean, I look at the trees and the only trees that I really don't care for sycamores because those bother me more than anything but but uh the pollen from the sycamores or when you're trimming them the pollen or okay. okay so but anyway that's that's beside the point oh, that's so yeah my my question on that at notations was status on ownership is that a city easement so it is a city city easement but yeah no where this that this is all city property right there and that's this yeah. picture right here Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I thought. It looked like yeah. an alleyway or... Why we have that little sliver, I don't know, but we do. Because John did one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any, have been any thought of trying to combine with any other cities around here with better pricing for tree removal? Really. What, what have we been paying, like 1500 2000 trees? Some of the really big ones, some have been under that. Most have been around 600, I think. Yeah, some have been between 6 and 12. Oh, that's, that's not so bad. Yeah, it hasn't been too bad when we've got, a, if we you know, get a, a quantity of trees to do. Um, I just know some that. of the more expensive ones were in the cemetery because they have to be more careful. Yeah, with. And, stuff, yeah. and then Joe does the grinding and he does that pretty cheap. So that 600 doesn't include the no, no. Okay. You might it did during the ratio because that was the requirement there. But. You might reach out to Extreme Tree, add them to your list. They're in DeSoto. But we, got, we, we just did 40 ash trees at the golf course. Now, granted, that's a lot. But we got trees removed, and that's a sensitive area. And what did you say they were out of? The, they're out of DeSoto, Iowa. But yeah, they took down 40 ash trees, various sizes, some quite big, others. 625 bucks and that would with stone. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just something to think about. Now I know, I, I just thought maybe if we could work with Altoona or somebody else, if they had a quantity of trees, you know, to get a larger volume. Because I think everybody's fighting the same battle with the ash trees that we are. So, yeah, I can just check in with Altoona. Just a thought. So. Try and save some money. Yep. What, do you, what do you guys do with them? Do you guys grind them up after, or the Throw them through a chipper at all, or what's the process after? The forks have been doing it for us. Where they? Yeah, usually it's whatever the tree company does with them. Oh, um, okay. Some have, have, have taken the trees and removed them, and yeah, usually we don't have to do anything. Oh. Um, Duratio, we went in with the state's contract, <coughs> and they set up a grinding station outside of town on our where our well fields are, and they they ground all the okay. Duratio trees up there. That's been the biggest one. Do we? I don't remember if we used forks this last time. We haven't used since the son took over, since the dad died. I knew he passed away. I know he had some health issues. Um, I can't remember who was on that last. Yeah. That did the cemetery trees? Was that the last one we did? It was forks, because I remember I had to call him, and it was shortly before he died, because he actually took down the wrong tree on one of the trees. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, they're all city trees, but. I kept going, I said, well, is the tree still there, boss? It's still there. He's like, no, I took it down. And 
And then, you know, we both have to have a different tree. <laughs> all right, see one tree, see them all. Yeah. Okay, so I will reach out and go from there on those. Um, and I, I, I did up your agenda. I don't know, Bruce, if there was anything else you wanted no, to actually, talk about. No, actually, that's pretty much what I was going to put on the agenda. You yeah. had, you had, under old business, you had those two things on the previous agenda, so I didn't know if, since I couldn't find my minutes, <laughs> if you actually, if we you covered everything, if there's anything else needed to be discussed. Uh, you know, we've had that tree please grant for two years now and not really been able to do anything with it. I've got that new development going on out there, uh, which is probably not going to be done for, what, how long for the next year or two? Maybe. Oh, yeah. So, with the, the way the city ordinance reads, we're not able to plant any trees on parkings any longer. Without council approval, yes. Doesn't it say it people able to? Well, because that was kind of stepped on it too, or, or kind of plucked down that, that we could apply for uh, permission to do it by the property owner if it's on the parking, but I guess we couldn't do that either. No, because um, then it ends up being the responsibility of the city. No person shall plant a tree in any street, street parking, or public right away. That's it. Council prohibited it. And I think that is why you guys wanted to visit that again. Yeah, because I know the library wanted trees over here also. Uh -huh. I was waiting for public comments and audience tech portion. I didn't know if that okay. was part of it. Um, my concern was if you're taking out two trees, that's my question. If you take out two trees, can you put in two, what's the process of getting two trees put back in. You can't put trees in the right way. Well, that's what I, I mean. I would have to ask for permission from no, the tree board. No, council changed the, the ordinance to not even allow it. Okay. Yeah, so so there's, there's, there's no variance allowed at all. So I would have to go address council. To have them request to, to change the ordinance. Ooh, or I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Can you plant them? I mean, a lot of cities require a certain number of trees to be planted on new lots, right? Don't they? I mean, they can plant them in their lot, just not on the driveway portion. But don't, isn't there a requirement of that in some places, that there's a certain number of trees planted? I thought there were some, some cities that were required. I, I have to look. I don't know our housing code that well. Okay. I know there's development out there year round, and I think they're allowed for a lot in any way, or for one tree, I think they can Allowance for one tree. I, I didn't try it. Yeah, I got to look it up. So you provide allowance and a purchase price. Yeah, for a purchase tree. price for a tree. So. Well, and then yeah, I guess my other concern was when I was looking at the, the county's uh, mitigation policy, you know, when they, when this whole area went in up here, there was a lot of trees there. Mm -hmm. And the county actually had a mitigation policy there that there's a certain number of trees taken off and they can have trees be planted elsewhere to offset that. And I was just wondering if you know what that's like. Now I don't know how, how often that's going to happen in Mitchell, well, probably not very often. Maybe the one and only time it ever happens. But it just was, it, it just, just hurt a little bit. <laughs> Some of those trees came off. Oh yeah. I mean, how many trees have we taken out in the past two or three years? Probably. Well, and this would only this is only going to cover Bruce, where you got large expanses like in the, the new. I'm talking about that hundred acres. Okay. Yeah, if you're talking the requested ones we've taken out of right away, I mean, I think it's been close to forty thousand a year for the last two years that we've had to spend on taking out trees in the right away because they were dead or dying or being used. I know just in the cemetery alone, you know, that was probably really. Mm -hmm. good. 12 trees, 15 trees, maybe. Yeah, oh yeah. And that alone, so. When I know that one bit that went out, I numbered them, I think, up to 18, maybe? That was the last big one we did, where we did a whole bunch. I mm -hmm. think that was 18 trees in the cemetery in the right away. So yeah, I'd like to see if we can't get the, the ordinance amended a little bit to so are you requesting that I put this ordinance before council for them to discuss? 
I think so. Because it's been, you know, COVID slowed us down a little bit on that because we just really yeah, didn't yeah. do much of anything with, with things at that time. But we've had this grant for two years and it's designed for the cities to replace trees on main streets and things like that. So, and at this point in time, you know. But I can tell you they probably aren't going to want them on Main Street because we just we just met last night the group that's looking at redoing how to make Main Street look better and their first focus is on the sidewalks. So I can't see us putting in trees with the sidewalks being fixed and risking the city having to redo the sidewalks again. I know that was one of the concerns. Well. Probably one of the things too is the choice of trees that was put it in. Be, yeah. uh, that affected the damage to the sidewalks a lot too. So without them looking into it, there's better trees mm -hmm. replacement on those versus a, an ash tree. So, which types of trees would you guys recommend? Um, not cutting the sidewalk. You know, it's it's a tough spot for a tree to survive. But yeah, you can look. I mean, to put them in concrete. That's 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 not the optimal place. But if you Came together with a list of some trees that's I don't know, you know something like a red bud or something like that that's smaller ornamental yeah, yeah. ornamental you know mm -hmm. um, some service area something like that that would provide some, some softening in the landscape a little bit the concrete that we have in that area smaller does it get wider this way so it would impede Oh, traffic, red bud. Traffic on the big red bud might be like two of these tables probably not even that big. I mean, it's a crown lid. I mean, they might get, yeah, they probably get that big, the bigger ones. You know, they're 12 inch diameter tree. No, I was thinking of the limbs of the branches. Crown. Yeah, I mean, the, they... the crown width might, you know, push out into, the, but the branches are small. You know, you can, you, they could easily be trimmed back. I think anything that you put in there that was straw, smaller structurally, Green ash was just kind of a, for a lot of reasons, and obviously nobody saw any AD coming out of the uh, also just the size of the tree. There's some urban trees that I looked at that's actually not terrible as far as root system and, and damages. One was a ginkgo tree, just as long as they're not a fruit bearing one. Right. We don't want that. Those are actually fairly clean trees, they're nice to look at. So that was one of the top ones on the list. system tends to go down instead of out. So in anything you plan on on a main street or anything like that, you know, it's subject to chemical burn or chemical damage with all the salt and everything that goes on this on the roads that get clogged and uh, sidewalks or ice melt too. So it withstands that fairly well too. So my question because I know I'm not a true person. Um, where the trees were, someone had told me that we wouldn't be able to plant a tree where we took out the tree because we left the roots and everything down there. They'll eventually rot out. Rot out. Yeah. 
But so we would be able to plant a tree in those open spots where trees were in the same spot. I don't see why not. You know, yeah. Did they? It's say not hard to solve the problem. Or? Well, because the, the the stumps are still there. You know, they're just ground down to. How low did they go with grinding? You know? I think just level. Well, they just went level. Do they have to go lower? Probably want to go lower. <laughs> That's what I'm asking because I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know. If they just want to level the ground, you probably have to get in there and do some more grinding. Yeah. So they so they could grind it down far enough, then that they could put you some dirt on down and plant a tree. Where it's basically it's yeah, it's there's not much there. You okay. Know, you know, chase the roots as far as you can. You probably want to open up the sidewalk a little more as well. I don't know how big those openings are, but even for smaller trees, I think they recommend at least five by five. For something like a ginkgo, you probably want twice that much. Um, I don't know, we'd have to get an arborist and see what they say. But, you know, that's part of the issue, is just those trees and tree health long term is when they're just, when it's just concrete right up to them, you know, it's, really, it's a tough environment for them. I'm just like, sure, I want to get a hose in this in there. That's what I'm asking for. Have the council said anything, Will, about what they want to do with me? That's how big it what? is. Where one of the trees was. That's probably about a five by five. And you really say four or five. Yeah. Maybe could you go further to the street? I mean, obviously you can't go any further the other way. But if yeah, because you you, you've got further to the street. You have yeah that much to the street right there. Yeah, you get another three feet yeah. maybe. Yeah, I'd say you just want to maximize that as much as you can. So if you're going with something bigger, because that's yeah, just going to be better for that tree's long term health. Well, they're looking at redoing all the sidewalks completely. Oh, totally taking the sidewalks taking out. Taking the sidewalks out. Oh, then you've got the well, then, then. Yeah, you have free run. Yeah. I I don't want to interrupt much. I know I I get the public audience part, but um, besides side street or main streets, what about a side street? What was the? Do we know what the reasoning was on can't what the ordinance of can't uh, uh, plant new trees without. I mean, I mean, there's no list of of replanting, is what you're saying. Pretty much the way it right, because of the right cost now. of the taxpayers, it's, it costs money every time we have to go remove these trees. So yeah, just the cost the last five years we've had in in removing trees and. And the main cost of that was, you know, avalanche or you know, dead ash trees that plus the the ratio. I would, I would like to see trees back on the parking. It's not going to affect the streets, sidewalks, or anything like that. I think. Are there liability concerns there? Yeah, it's just you know another what thirty half you know, thirty years we're going to have to. <laughs> no, I'm saying if it's spend the same money again. <laughs> if a tree on the parking falls on somebody's car, uh, does that go to the homeowners insurance or to the city's? If it, it it would go. I mean, obviously they'd sue both of us. Um, if it's if it can be pointed out that the homeowner didn't maintain the tree like they should have. Even though it was on city property? If this, yeah, trees in the right of way are still under the maintenance of the homeowner. They are required like to keep them maintained. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. like mowing, yeah. yeah. Sense, so. Um, so if it can be proven that we warn them that you're not maintaining your tree, otherwise it would be an, on the city's insurance, would yeah. be our liability, yeah. So yeah, like I said, two years now we've had that two thousand dollars to use. And How long will they let us keep that for the tree? I mean, the last time I talked to her last year, it's indefinitely. Just let me know when you use it, then you could reapply for it. Is that Mid American? That's Mid American, yeah. Yeah, they usually. I mean, even at the park, I thought we could utilize that out at the park or around the ball fields, and yeah, you know, that was there. Then. Trees so we really want to do anything with that out there. Either. Yeah, no, no. Did, did Matt talk about that at all? Or the park? Well, there'd be the park and rec board that would kind of make that decision on whether they want the trees. I could run that by Matt again and see yeah, if we can bring it up. Yeah, we can take it to park and rec. And <coughs> so speaking of that, what's happening there by the ice rink? What are they building there? That's a stage okay. for concerts and events. Okay. Well, yeah, I can see trees, you know. Piece of there in the drainage, you know, that I would think that would be nice.
think that would make the frisbee golf a little more challenging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they don't want it to be more challenging. Well, the one behind the little ball field, there's some little hanging limbs there, which that's kind of there? Okay. there. But once you get I've never played the course, so I don't know. Wider red either, it's so. Pretty wide open. The kids have, there. so. Not a lot we can do tonight, but we discussed the trees and. Is there anything else in the ordinance that you want them council to discuss and reconsider? I don't, and you don't have you can email me your thoughts since we're actually not taking any action. Um, I mean, it's kind of a basic ordinance that was probably yeah. adopted from. We updated it in 2019 and put in that planning prohibited line. It used to say they could come to council, um, there, there was a tree planting and a right away permit and they could come to council and, and request. At that time you could fill out a form and And request. put in a request to have council approve you planting a tree in your right away. And that went bye bye too, so. Yes. So now it's just, it just needs to be signed and then that'll be... No, this ordinance is in effect. Okay. But if so council's going to discuss, if you want them to discuss okay. allowing trees in the right of way, it would be an ordinance change. So if there was anything else in here that you wanted them to look at or change, this would be the time. Is that something we should approach the council with too or be the meeting for that? You sure can. Um, would I have to request I will let to be you know on? when it's going to be what? Would I have to request to be on, on the agenda for that? No, I can put you at, as, as tree board, I can put you as, as the tree board is, will be on, yeah, you technically be on the agenda, but you wouldn't have to put the request in. Um, okay. And you can let me know when you want to be at it, you know, to, to start it. Because usually they like to discuss an ordinance, and then at the next meeting I bring them a draft copy and they go through three readings of it. And so if you want to be on when they first started discussing it, that might be a good one to... So you can look at your schedule and let me know what Monday works for you to come to a council meeting. You can email me that if you... I would probably suggest a list of trees that you guys would recommend. And you wouldn't want the twenty three you want. So you're saying like a list of approved species? Yeah. Some, I mean, on, on public yeah. yeah. I mean, council. Yeah, and one of the one. things uh, that was mentioned by Art was the DNR. Well, DNR did a survey, right, for the city? Yes. Years ago. Yes. And and that led to, you know, we had the the Amarash borer, which killed out I don't know how many trees here in town. The next popular, most popular species is a maple tree, and they recommended that no maples be planted just for the fact that if we have a disease come through, there's another yeah. you know, third of the trees that'll be gone. Yeah, their recommendation was variety, variety, variety. Mm -hmm. Put it in a different variety of species so you don't have, you don't lose all your trees and ones. Okay. I think that's all I had to bring up. If there's anything else we'll you guys the trees, uh, what desirable trees, or bring a list, or put a list yeah, we can put a list together. Do we want to do that? Yeah. All right, we drive by, you stop in, we'll yeah. hook up the boat, we'll go out and have some beverages. And, <laughs> 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 and I don't know how soon you want to move on this. You know, their next meeting is June 6th, and then you've got June 20th, and then, you know, July, whatever. You guys tell me when you. To well, start I think, you know, you could start with, would you guys consider it with a list of approved species? That could be the first question. You know, and see how the floor of that goes, and then if they say yes, then you put together a list of approved species. And take that to them, I guess, or maybe get the DNR's blessing, or something like that. I'm good with that, so. Okay. Any other questions? It's not often a city has two grand to burn I can't spend this. So. <laughs> well, that's matching funds, so that would be two thousand dollars to grant, yeah. two thousand. Which is a good thing you didn't spend it this year on that because we spent it on tree removal this year. <laughs> is it in kind, or do we have to spend that money? Yeah, you have cash match. 
Yeah, it's it, it can go for labor or whatever. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> so yeah, you buy the trees and by the time you plant them, you probably have that much in there. Right? Yeah. Oh. I'd have to read it again. It's been a year or so since I looked through that. Two years. Oh. But I do remember it went for labor. And yeah, it went for much. labor and stuff like that and materials. So you can, I mean, it's pretty much a green light. You go over to Corey Springs over here at Colfax and all those trees over there around the lake now, that was all provided through Please Trees Grants, so. Now some, and I'm sorry, I actually got my head off the board, but some cities have um, them come to the tree board for approval as, a board, as opposed to actual council for approval to plant a tree in the right way. I've seen it done both ways. Um, some cities don't have an active tree board, um, I think we don't. <laughs> the last couple times um, we haven't really had You know, so our school. council tends to do a lot of that stuff. Um, I just wanted to put that in your guys' head if, if you think. Well, when's the next board meeting then? That'll be the 30th? Well, no. The yeah, first and third? Yeah, the first and third Monday. So yeah, this is a five Monday month, so we, we have three weeks to so it would be the 6th, June 6th? Yeah, June 6th or June 20th. So I think... And like you said, I can get them all over and tell them that this is what you guys are looking at and um, see if they're even open to it. Yeah, June 6th, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> so maybe we'll see how that pans out. If I'm in town on the 6th, I can have a meeting, so. All right. Um, your guys' meeting is regularly scheduled meeting would be June 15th. Do you guys want to set the next meeting date tonight? Well, I think it depends on when Bruce is going to meet with the council, probably. And there's no more, I mean, there's no more we pending want, business. We push it to July, and that way he's got a couple chances to meet with them, and then. You sure can. June is an extremely busy month, month for me for in, in year end things. So. <laughs> um, so your third one in July would be the 20th. 20th. You want me to put that down tentatively? And yeah, that's true. You guys can. I like to have my calendars marked so I have my dates in line. <laughs> so the next one will be July 20th at 7. you want me to do like the agenda for that one like I did this one I sure can and you can email me items you want on the agenda or you can do it yourself and just email me the agenda because actually when you sent that over to me I was in the process of doing the agenda <laughs> and it was pretty well, much I like I do that only because I have to get them in the mail because Byron yeah. you know, doesn't so I mean I, mean, I want to get the packets out before the weekend so that you, they have, you guys have time to look at them but I was going to say, Don walks by here probably every day, doesn't he? Well, he does some days. He had, he's not as often as he used to, but yeah, he does He does some days. I used to hand deliver up, but when you remember, yeah, I delivered to your wife. I think I put him in Doug's door. It all works. Well, sorry it's out of your way. I know. You, you two are not at Yeah, we'll be, we'll be easy ones. Yeah. I guess if you could catch Don walking by, that would be funny. Are we still alive then, or? Yes, you haven't necessarily adjourned, but you can't oh, go. Oh, if you guys could have just, because it's not a meeting, yeah, so. Yeah, it's not a meeting, so yeah, I move a motion to adjourn, so. You can't make a motion. I, well, you I can't do anything. You can't make a motion. <laughs> motion so. 